two days, the oldest living World War II veteran who happens to live right here in Austin will turn 108 years old. Fox 7's Daniel Armister sat down to talk with Richard Overton about serving overseas and his secret to longevity. Every morning, Richard Overton gets up and starts moving with no signs of slowing down. I just keep it going. I don't stop. For the oldest known living World War II vet, time has swept right on by. I mean, 108. But Overton still drives. You know, nobody wants to buy Monte Carlo, do you? And he hasn't <laughs> lost his sense of humor, especially for a man that has seen many loved ones and friends pass away at home and overseas. Overton served in the Army and was sent to the West Pacific in 1945 and says it simply wasn't fun. Shot all my head between my legs, around my ears and everything, but it wasn't my day to go. His service on the battlefield was not always matched by the respect that he deserved at home, but this veteran held his head high. When Overton was recognized by President Obama at the White House, he gave the president a box of his favorite cigars. He take them. I don't know what he done with them, but he take them. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was it fascinating to meet the president? No, just, just like meeting you. And when Governor Rick Perry stopped by his house last Memorial Day, the governor brought with him a special gift that Overton enjoys every now and then with his morning coffee. Man, you like that? Get you going in the morning. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for your service. It's that selfless service and sense of gratitude that keeps Overton happy. He's lived in this East Austin home since the 1940s when he built it, and while his neighborhood has changed, Overton hasn't. I've been drinking a little bit, but I don't drink much. I've been smoking cigars ever since I was 18. But Overton takes everything in moderation, including his love for cookies and tacos, and has only one regret. I go back and get me a wife. <laughs> go back and get you a wife? Yeah, give me a wife. I've been married twice, uh -huh. and both of them had cancer. As far as any secrets to longevity, Overton says he avoids prescription medication and only takes aspirin. What's the key to living a long life? Oh, I ain't got nothing to do with it. That's what everybody asks you. But that's God's word. <laughs> and work. You never know how long you go. Is something Overton will keep doing until this life passes by. In East Austin, Daniel Armbruster, Fox 7 News Edge. What a great story. Love that. Happy birthday to him. Overton.